Good morning, I'm Vasily, and today we are going to talk about the Dominican food. Sancocho, it's uh, dish number one in the Dominican cuisine, it's seven meats stew. You should give it a try. It's a local delicious thing. If you visit in any, any kind of campo in the Dominican Republic, uh, you will have opportunity to try this, especially during some special, special events or celebrations. Sancocho, this is one of my favorite food in the Dominican Republic. It's amazing, it's like a soup, but definitely it's a more stew. Okay, number two. Uh, Dominican breakfast usually served with mangu. What is mangu? It's basically uh, contains salami. The breakfast contains salami, mangu, and queso frito, fried cheese, and eggs. Uh, what is like the definition of mangu? What it comes from? I believe it during the uh, United States invasion to the Dominican Republic, somebody heard from uh, American soldiers Man, good. That's how mangu appeared in the Dominican <laughs> dictionary. I would definitely suggest you to try mangu. It's mash from platano. That's delicious. If you go into the Dominican Republic, try Dominican breakfast. Salami, mangu, maybe onions, uh, queso frito, fried eggs. Mangu. Arroz blanco, white rice. Well, that's amazing, but they serve everything with white rice. Uh, it's a joke from my Dominican friend. He, he's telling me we have like different uh, dishes in the Dominican cuisine. Uh, rice with beans, rice with chicken. So basically mentioning everything with, with rice. Habichuelas guisadas, stewed beans. They eat a lot of beans and they eat a lot of rice. So that's one of the option and sometimes they mix beans with rice. Definitely uh, beans, it's uh, protein and uh, rice, it's carbs. It's not the best idea to mix carbs with proteins, but if you really want to enjoy an experience, Dominican cuisine, that's what you should try. Rice with beans. So pollo guisado, braised chicken. Chicken is abundant and quick to cook in the Dominican Republic. That's why Dominicans cook in the uh, chicken all the time with everything they can. It's just really strange. The Dominican Republic is in the middle of the ocean and there are not much fish like in the Dominican cuisine. They eat more chicken than fish. Ensalada verde. So basically green salad, but they uh, bring the in, in salada verde cucumbers, lettuce, uh, something else, sometimes tomatoes, sometimes cabbage, depends on the area, but that's definitely in salada verde. Tostones, that's another Dominican food that we share with several other Latin American countries. So basically it's twice fried platanos. So if it, like, if you are in the Dominican Republic, you definitely should give it a try. And be careful with platanos, because if you're gonna eat them a lot, you can have problems with your stomach, because your stomach is not get used to this kind of food. By the way, Dominicans are telling you, when you adapted to the local culture, that you are a platanado. That means you're eating a lot of platanos already. That, that means that you already like a local. Habichuelas con dulce. Basically, it beans with uh, sweet, sweet creams of beans. That's kind of strange things for European mentality, for the, and for the American mentality, but that's what they like to eat and you should give it a try. That's different from everything that you experienced before. Biscocho Dominicano. So, Dominican cake, not a single celebration is not going without the Biscocho Dominicano. That's Dominican cake and you should give it a try. So, if you go into the Dominican Republic, you should definitely try the Dominican food and all these varieties of food. And I would definitely recommend you to try Sancocho. That's my favorite dish in the Dominican Republic. I really fell in love in this dish. 
especially if you're going to colder climate somewhere in Constanza or Harabakoa and it's built cold and you have a hot sun culture, that's just delicious. You should definitely give it a try. I'm Vasily. Please subscribe to our channel. I really appreciate that. Thumbs up and ring the bell to make sure that you see our next video. Make a comment and we are waiting for you in the Dominican Republic.